Hello, global ladies and friends. I want to officially welcome all of our newbie friends across the globe um, here in the Negrita 2.0 digital home. And you can see I have my tea out. I just had a nice sip uh, because in celebration of this growth and diversity we are experiencing, I am introducing a new stream which was recommended by one of our US based friends um, of the channel here on YouTube. So this is my first attempt at one of those unpopular opinion trends, which some of you might be familiar with because it is simply one of those online tags that refuses to go away. And um, there is actually very interesting psychological theory about it with um, significant research and social proof to support why people follow trends, um, which we will get into on a different day. For purposes of today's video, my little disclaimer is that I'm generally not a trend follower. I've always set my own standards in life, um, um, at least ever since I can recall. And um, I've essentially lived life on my own terms. And, um, and and accepted the consequences for this, uh, for better or for worse. <laughs> Suffice it to say that I am willing to give this a try, provided I'm able to put my own spin on it, okay? So that's exactly what we'll do today in order to put this theory to the test. And so for our inaugural episode, Megan and Thomas Markle are the subject matter uh, yet again because Thomas is up to his antics um, in an Australian TV interview which aired recently. Thomas basically went rogue by admitting to being part of a ploy to disrupt Megan's wedding. And um, he actually goes on to name names. So the channel essentially invites Thomas for an interview, hoping he would expose Megan in true Thomas fashion. But instead he inadvertently went off script, it seems, and exposed the media and uh, particularly British media and he went on to name names um, and, um, and, and, and candidly ad admitted that he was right there in the thick of things um, in terms of this, this ploy to mess up the wedding as it were. So um, I want to get into the article with you to just get a verbatim account of what happened but I just want to state up front that I have obviously spoken about Megan before and I'll, I'll, I will link those um, video shares. My unpopular opinion on Megan is she is not always easy to believe simply because she she's not entirely innocent in this British royal family debacle. That's always been my stance, but there are very specific issues which I've empathized with. The article reads, Australian News apologizes for interview after Thomas Markle became rogue. Australian-based Channel 7 has expressed an apology after Thomas Markle was quote-unquote fraud during an interview. Meghan Markle's father, Thomas, was involved in a program where he was discussing the photos taken before the wedding. And uh, 
Thomas now claimed that reporter Dylan Howard and photographer Jeff Reiner were part of the plan to ruin the wedding, quote, unquote, and he was subsequently brought in. Channel 7 apologized and removed all the versions of the interview as the clip aired. Open quote, in a live interview, Thomas Markle made an uncharacteristic, bit rough, rather than savage and unfounded claim, said one of the anchors. And there you see the Twitter announcement from the channel regarding decision to remove all contents from from the platforms. The article goes on to say, open quote, seven did not intend such claims to be broadcast. So we subsequently removed them from all versions of the program. The co-host added before apologizing to Howard and Reiner. Open quote, we promised an unfiltered interview with Thomas Markle, the first anchor equipped in retrospect they go on to say maybe he should have been faltered close quote in conclusion the article goes on to say the duchess of sussex has not been in contact with her father since 2018 after being sold out to the paparazzi he then sold her private letters to the tabloids so that's uh, quite a brief article and um, it essentially is an affirmation of what Megan has been saying. So in this Channel 7 interview, Thomas Markle essentially confirms British tabloid involvement in the trial by media war waged against Megan and I must admit I always side eye British press because when you analyze the character of the personalities behind it like your Rupert Murdoch's and the lack of proper sector regulatory framework with, coupled with what the press did to Diana, for example, and how highly, highly paid public relations companies use the media to push extremely self-serving narratives. The documentary Panorama, it's an unpopular documentary and you should make a point of seeing it. It is most revealing in this respect and and the british press in my view is absolutely despicable and kudos to thomas for finally being forthcoming about what was actually going on behind the scenes at the time if you watch that oprah interview megan pretty much uh, alluded to this Megan pretty much goes into granular detail about the inner wor workings of, of, of this relationship between a cohort of the British tabloid, the British royal family. family. I mean, this is an industry that absolutely requires course correction. You might also recall in the very same Oprah interview, tabloids held on to their supposed bombshells which was staged by Thomas with photos just until days before the wedding to cause maximum drama and, and chaos. Opinion is that the palace is very tight with a specific cohort of the tabloids and um, so you've got to wonder if they are involved behind the scenes in actually recruiting Thomas as well and the extent to, to which he might have been perhaps not fully aware of. Panic took hold at Channel 7 post this interview with Thomas Markle. But the channel essentially 
went on to subsequently yank specific portions of the interview and they have apologized for this. Um, my suspicion here is that the men in grey suits moved on to, to shut this down very quickly. What are your unpopular thoughts on this issue? More in the playlist. <laughs> we don't make willy-nilly accusations without tr proof to back this up. So I'm including this article as part of the receipts for you to use as reference. I'll see you on the next one.